of Floridians are diagnosed with Alzheimer's, but there are things you can do to fight back. Karen Adams teamed up with CNS Healthcare to learn more. I'm joined by Susan Angel. She is with CNS Healthcare, and today we have a pretty serious topic to discuss, and that is Alzheimer's disease. Welcome to the show. Thank you. This is something that affects a lot of people and a lot of people's parents or grandparents, and it's heartbreaking to see them lose their minds, and so many times we feel like, what can we do about it? No, it is very, it's a very difficult thing to deal with, and um, upcoming in November is National Alzheimer's um, Disease Awareness Month, and okay. so we thought um, it would be a good time now to start talking about that, maybe talking about some of the things that um, CNS Healthcare does uh, that could assist folks okay. suffering from Alzheimer's disease. Is it just me, or is it, is it, is it that, you know, it seems like it's, it's so much more attention's been given to it, but it also seems like it's either becoming more prevalent or we're just, we're just realizing it more. And then the, and the other question is, sometimes I, what, what I've read is it's what you eat and the, the metallic and the, and the metal and the plates and then, I, you know, I just don't know. Um, yeah, well, you know, dementia is a, is a word that people always use and, um, you know, Dementia is the symptoms of Alzheimer's disease, but there are a number of things that um, uh, can cause dementia. Um, Alzheimer's disease um, accounts for about 70 to 80 percent of those cases of dementia. And the thing that's uh, different about Alzheimer's disease is that um, most oftentimes, you know, it is, it's thought of as a pro progressive condition. Mm -hmm. um, it's thought about something that can't get better. Whereas dementia, you know, there are other things that can cause dementia and sometimes those things can be reversible. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the issues that people have is how are you going to manage and take care of your loved one who, who has Alzheimer's disease? Mm -hmm. um, so much of the treatments um, now have been geared towards slowing the progression of the disease or controlling symptoms, mm -hmm. but we haven't had that breakthrough just yet to stop it or reverse it. Wow. And, and that is what we're working on at CNS Healthcare. Okay, tell us what you're doing there. We are fortunate enough to be working on one of the few medications that are currently being evaluated that can actually stop the disease. In its and, tracks? In its tracks or potentially even reverse Wonderful. The disease. And so when you think about Alzheimer's disease, one of the things that um, happens to the brain is there are these things called the amyloid plaques mm -hmm. that get in the brain. Mm -hmm. And so it affects all areas. You know, you think about the patient who's confused, they have memory problems, speech problems, mm -hmm. um, and eventually, you know, it goes down from there, unable to take care of themselves, etc. Mm -hmm. Well, this um, medication in itself uh, breaks those things up and clears them out. Oh wow, it and breaks up the plaque? Yeah, and clears up the plaque and, and helps the brain. Isn't that something? So it saves the brain. So this is something right now that's in the trial it stage is. and so that if, if someone's watching at home and they have a loved one and you want to give it a shot, give it a shot. It sounds like something yeah. that... We're really, I mean, you know, most of the community that works within the research realm and deals with patients who have Alzheimer's disease, this is some really exciting steps that are being made. Um, and you'll see there's been recent articles in the news and mm -hmm. um, through various media out outlets talking about uh, these new breakthroughs and, and should it continue along the path, this could be an outstanding um, opportunity for people who, who are dealing with this disease. You know, in time they just find out so much more, so mm -hmm. much more resources that are given to it and so many more doctors' time is, is spent and research and, and so forth. And this, you it's know, wonderful. Everyone working together, you know, trying to come up with great solutions. Um, but the one thing that we're working on specifically is we want to um, reach out to people who may just have started having some mild cognitive impairment. Um, patients who, you know, are concerned about memory deficits, who uh, may be noticing that um, they're a little more forgetful. Family members are noticing, and it might not be to the severe levels that you think about. Those are the patients that we'd really love to um, meet with and talk to mm -hmm. to see if this is an opportunity for them because they have not uh, progressed to a stage uh, that is so severe, so severe. and the opportunity uh, to change the course is there. I think that would be great. Um, yeah. What might be, a, when we only have a few okay. um, seconds left here, but what might be some of the early stages that someone is forgetting and approximately what age of onset does this happen? Um, you know, you think about um, sometimes it starts mid-50s 
And so, you know, any patient who is over 55 who is experiencing some cognitive decline, and it may be, you know, you're forgetful, you're losing things, um, it can be very subtle changes. And we do have assessments that we can complete um, at our office that will help uh, guide us to determine the severity of symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, and if it falls within a range that we think uh, the trial might um, be of benefit, uh, then we can move them forward that way. I love it, Susan. Mm -hmm. This is very encouraging. I know, so, it's so exciting. Please call the number on your screen, CNS Healthcare, and you may know somebody that could definitely take advantage of these clinical trials. It's always great to see you. Yeah, thanks thanks again. for having me. You bet. Thanks yeah. for coming in. A party 